What is up everyone? Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing not car talk, but room talk. Not room talk. Professions? No. <laughs> you haven't really thought about how you We're know. doing cabin questions. Yay! All right, so uh, Mateo and I, we recorded a video last year of us answering questions. So uh, I think it's only right if we do a new year edition. So starting off with the first question, do you guys fight a lot or never fight at all? What do you mean? Like fight a lot like do we argue oh oh like no no no, no. no we never i don't argue. i don't remember any any moments of us arguing why would we need to argue yes except when you're except when you're, when i need you to wake up that's the only time we <laughs> he does not wake up what is it like being the youngest well i have like the free will to do stuff really mm -hmm. like what kind of free will Playing video games all day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like, hey. Yeah, like you can like you have to edit, you have to edit, 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 and I'm like just I'm on my Nintendo Switch and like like sitting there just on that bed in that corner turning my Nintendo Switch. <laughs> you know why my Nintendo Switch is always out a uh, low battery because I always play it all the time. <laughs> I also get like twelve ice creams a day. Dang, <laughs> you told me that you only had six ice creams yesterday. Yes, but um, no, no, yesterday, yesterday. Yesterday, Two yesterday, yesterday, Two, yeah, three days ago, I had... So you're just like a ice cream monster. Yeah, technically. <laughs> I don't have to do work. Well, right now, yeah, because you're young. Yes. But when you get older, you're going to have to do stuff. Yeah, you know, when you get older, you probably wouldn't eat as much ice cream, number one. Because you'll be pooping all the time. <laughs> That's called puberty. <laughs> what do you know about puberty? Um, is that you grow hair all over your body. body. Mm, okay. And Are you, you sweat a lot, too. And you poop a lot. Really? I don't know if sweating has to do with it. Maybe. Maybe because you have, like, extra fat, so you're burning it and burning it off. Mm -hmm. um, but you also get, like, pimples... Pip. Uh huh. And like hormones and stuff, all uh, the fun stuff. Fun stuff? Mm. What do you mean fun stuff? I was joking. Pimples are not fun. What is it like to have Oliver as your older brother? Hmm. I wanted a sibling that would understand what I mean and what would do what I mean. Like, what understand what I mean, like. Like, if I had an older brother, like, I would, um, have, like, um, it would be, like, for them to hard understand me because I'm littler than them and they know more stuff than me. Mm. And when I had a littler brother, I would barely know ever anything that they said because I'm nine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I wanted to talk about this really quickly because it's pretty important to me. With a platform, I would want to talk about this as much as I can whenever I have the opportunity to as well. Last year in August, there has been reports of over 9,000 cases of Asian hate. And although other crimes have dropped in 2%, the Asian hate crime rate has increased by over 150% since August of last year. And to other Asian creators out there, just like myself and Mateo, I encourage you guys to help spread the word about this because it really is important. And what we do now shapes the future, so I say that we come together and talk about these things even though it's, it's not something that everyone loves to talk about, it's something that is important to talk about. So if you want to read more about it, there's a really good website that has all the statistics and what you can even do to help in the description first link. And not hating people for their race is just one step closer to a world that I want to live in. And I'm sure you guys want to live in as well. It means so much to us that you don't hate Asians. All right. What is one word to describe each other? I'll go first. Okay. Chaotic. I call my class chaotic. Yeah? Yes. You're a little chaotic. No, I, no, I one time said to my teacher, I'm like, um, you know all, my, all the kids in my class except for me is childish. Childish? <laughs> so you're not childish? No, no. But I'm more like the comedian there. Oh, you're the class clown? Yeah, not the class clown, but like the comedian ish. -ish, 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 -ish. Okay, and I would describe you as. I would describe you as. What's that? You edit a lot. Not even. I don't even edit that much. I have been editing a lot recently because I've been posting more on YouTube, but. 
It's fun. I like editing. I'm gonna edit a lot soon. Yeah? Yeah. You should tell them, guys, um, Mateo, he makes videos as well. He doesn't post them or anything. He just... Well, I'm gonna post them, them soon. I'm just, I just don't know how. No, I'll teach you. What is your current favorite game to play together? One, two, three. Pokemon, Pokemon Scarlet. Scarlet. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, it's Nintendo Switch. At first, I was about to say Minecraft. Ah, <laughs> oh, I mean, we do like to play Minecraft, but yes, recently, we, yeah, recently, 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 we played Pokemon Scarlet. What were y'all's first reaction after you lost your first tooth? What were, okay, when I lost my first baby tooth, it was in kindergarten, and um. It was in the middle. It was in the middle of uh, learning the um, alphabet. Hmm. So I was like wiggling it because I really wanted it to come out because I, was, I thought I was gonna get a lot of money from it. And I was wiggling in and just popped out. It was like and there's blood splashing all over the place. Uh, like first time I lost a tooth, I was probably around the same age. I remember I was outside at Dad's house. I believe I was playing with Sebastian, and uh, we we're just like messing around, and then it just knocked out. It got knocked out, and I didn't even yeah. feel it. Huh. Yeah. yeah, the same thing that happened in kindergarten. I didn't feel the blood. Blood was splashing everywhere, so I didn't, I didn't like it. When you were growing up, what holidays did you celebrate? And which ones did you not celebrate? Oh, we celebrate Christmas. We did not celebrate Halloween. Yeah, we don't celebrate Halloween. We celebrate Christmas. We celebrate New Year's. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Easter. Uh, Easter. We definitely Easter. Do you do Valentine? I never um, really do Valentine. I... It's not I, like we were against like it. Like my mom, like my mom kind of liked Valentine, but I never like, you know, took Valentine seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like we didn't celebrate it, but it's also like yeah. we didn't really have girls to no. celebrate with. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> what is Mateo interested in right now? Video games, ice cream. <laughs> That's it. Oh, you play piano a little bit? Uh, yeah, I do. And guitar. A little bit. Oh, stuffed animals. Oh right, I mean yeah. that's my that's my video. That's what my all my videos are about, stuffed animals. Mm -hmm. What was your reaction slash feeling when Mateo was born? Do you remember when you were born? I don't remember when I was born. I, I only remember stuff from when I was three year old and up, except when I was two. Sebastian used to used to make me have nightmares about the one I squid. The one I squid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I used to have nightmares of it. <laughs> I used to have so many nightmares of it. I remember vividly on how you were born. So Mateo was born inside of our house. He was yes. he's the only Moy boy born in house. The rest was in doctor. Uh-huh. The rest of us we were born in a hospital. Um mom was screaming really loud. Uh so they asked us to sleep downstairs on the couch. So I remember sleeping on the couch and I couldn't fall asleep. I was so excited to see you. It was like four AM and I, I just like kept waking up because I hear mom screaming because she's giving birth to you. And then it was like 5.30, 6 a.m. when you were finally born. And I remember seeing you for the first time and you were so small, like this big. Huh. And, and now you're this big. Yeah, well, I'm actually bigger than these. Well, you are no, this I, big. I need to put my... What if you had seen Mateo drinking underage? Would you take the drink? Or would you rat and tell your parents? Well, what are your thoughts on? I drinking? would not drink because I said I said to everybody that I would never smoke or drink ever in my life. I'm only adding this question in just because Mateo and I we had a conversation about this two days ago, and you're telling me that you would never drink or smoke, which is great. It's really good, mm -hmm. but if I saw you drinking, and let's say you were like 17, 18 years old, I would. Probably sit you down and tell you not to do that, and be like, "Hey, man, that's that's no no." That's <laughs> I bet you'll be doing that. But I'm 21 though. Yeah, Sebastian drinks and he's like 19 <laughs> and 18, like near 18, 19. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure you guys like, like subscribe, subscribe, comments, comments and, and turn, turn on, on post notifications. Post notification <laughs> thingy. Yay. Make sure you follow Mateo on Instagram. Uh, Mateo has a bunch of followers on there. Um, like near 48 um, grand. No. He has too many followers on there. <laughs> Make sure you guys get me on Twitter, at Oliver Moy, to ask me questions for next video, whether it's another cabin question, or a car fashion, or anything like that. All right, everyone. Bye-bye. I love you.
Woke up, I swear that you're different. I tell the moon and stars all about you. Don't text or call that I miss you. Cause I swear the girl, you're different. 